hi, sorry, um, didn't get round to doing two more recordings yesterday, as I said I would. Um, I just got distracted doing, well, still getting on with my kitchen, but it's almost there now, so that's really nice. Did promise you a story, um, and before I start, decided to go down, just down the road from my house, there's a small little, you know, few shops there, and I thought I'd cut some pork. Got there, all good, had my gloves and was very careful. Got back into the car and it wouldn't start. So anyway, let's see. So my story is, um, it's, about, it's again, it's kind of, it's about a, a coincidence actually. So I can't remember, I think it was really early in the new year, one evening, uh, you know, we were just listening to music and on our Spotify. Uh, I think it's a, it's a Bob Dylan radio play thing. But anyway, we, we kind of just got talking about um, like the times we'd seen Bob, you know, um, and we had like twice in London. So and that reminded us of the one and only time he played in Malaysia, which was in 1994 on the 22nd of February. And it was at the Putra World Trade Center. And literally that's somewhere that I would like, I can count the number of times I've been to the Putra World Trade Center. And yeah, we all went to the gig and it was just amazing and you know we had an amazing night and we ended up after the gig we went to the hard rock cafe in KL which was where we you know Bob and the band were staying so we met some of the the guys who played in the band and that was super cool and uh yeah, we also all got kind of really poisoned by the the draft beer that night. That's that's another story. But anyway, it was a great night and it was a great gig and we were talking about it and I was just thinking, oh my God, that's, you know, just all these memories flooding back and, you know, some friends who, you know, who were there with us that night and aren't with us anymore and, so yeah, there was that. It just evoked so many lovely memories, and I was really, really thinking about it. And of course, because you know, I am a very big Dylan fan, and um, I started to kind of ask around my group of friends who had been, who were there. You know, we'd gone together for that gig that night. What they remembered, and I was very inspired. I thought, oh, I'm sure I can do a story around this. And one of the things that happened that evening, and I'm pretty sure it was after the gig, but it could have been before. So um, I remember being an, on an escalator. Yeah, and I think, or, yeah, maybe it was an escalator or maybe we were already in a sort of big foyer. And basically there was a lot of security and there were a lot of people around and uh, Anwar Ibrahim, who at that time in 1994, uh, it was actually February the 22nd, he was the Deputy Prime Minister of Malaysia. And that was like literally the first time I'd, I'd seen him, like, you know, but at that time I wasn't like that interested in Malaysian politics or anything. So then go back to 2020, which is like... 26 years later, okay, and just a few days after this conversation, we got a, an invitation for a wedding, and blow me down, it was on the, it was for a wedding at the Putra World Trade Center on the 22nd of February, and I just couldn't believe it, I could not believe the coincidence of the date, and it was like, to that day, and we had been talking about it, and 
yeah so then I was really excited and I thought wow I'm gonna go there I'm gonna you know and I'm gonna walk around and try and remember that day so that's it because it's five minutes so you just have to wait for the next bit okay promise you bye